What's up all my Satisfactory fans out there? Welcome back to another episode of my Dune Desert Mega Factory project. And we are here inside of what was going to be my electronics factory, where I was going to try to get everything regarding uh, quick wire, caterium, quartz, anything electronic was going to be made in here. It still is. Uh, I say was because I just never actually did finish this. However, we are at the point now where we kind of have to. In the last couple of episodes, we ran into some power issues, got that all solved. Ran into some material issues, that's not exactly solved yet, but that, that's a video for another day. Uh, but I can't really progress any further until I get a couple of things. We're going to need some computers and we're going to need some, uh, some oscillators. So that's the goal for the day, is to try to get this factory up and running, get it working and getting stuff made. Alright, so let's get started. All right, so to start things off, what we're gonna first have to do is we need to get the plastic and the rubber over to the electronics factory, which you can kind of see poking out right there. So we gotta get it up there. And one of the reasons I built this uh, this huge tower right here, just it was, just, just wasn't just, it wasn't just for the, uh, the actual hyper tube. No, I had planned on like running some lines up through this too. And that's pretty much what we're gonna do. So I've been thinking about how I'm going to, to get this to work exactly. Because of I, what I should have done is built this factory a little higher. And at this point, I've done so much work to it and everything that I really don't wanna just like completely tear it down and rebuild it higher. No, I don't wanna do that. So I'm going to have to try to figure out something else. I have an idea and we're going to try to uh, just kind of block this in here and make this kind of work a little more natural with uh, the way we have things here. So let me kind of get something done on that here real quick. Okay, so with a little bit of work, I made this look a lot smoother now. So I ended up uh, using some two meter ramp to kind of move up through here. I actually started from up here so everything was flat with that. Moved it out this way and then two meter ramp down so that it meets this section right here. And yeah, I think this looks a little bit better. Uh, it's, it's, this is about the best I'm going to be able to get it for the time being without rebuilding the entire building. But yeah, th this sort of works. Sure. Alright, I also built this kind of uh, little input kind of part over here. This little outcropping kind of thing here. And I think this, what I'm gonna do is have the rubber and the plastic come underneath and then go up this corner side right here and come out of this little section here and go straight across into this. And then we'll probably have it come out over this way and then go into the tower. Yeah, I, I think that's pretty much what we're gonna do. Okay, with a little bit of ingenuity, I think I figured this out. So, like I said I was going to, we went ahead and put uh, some of the material coming up through this sidewall right here, this pillar, and then going across through here into this little building right here, this little outcropping. And I kind of spiced it up a little bit, uh, used some industrial beams to go across there. And I put these uh, big frame pillars down through here with a base, and I, I think that looks pretty good. At least it come out better than uh, it, it did before, or at least it better than I had in my head. So I was kind of hoping for something like this, and I'm very proud that it did actually come out much nicer than I expected. Now, for over here, I went ahead and ran it underneath of the concrete here, and then it comes over through here and comes up, and right next to the catwalk where it goes into the building. So our next step is going to be getting it up through the tower so I'm gonna show you a new trick I learned for that all right so now I'm inside the tower here on the bottom floor and as you can see I've taken out the floors because we're going to be doing a little bit of work underneath of the floor in here so we can get everything moving up the tower now as typically I've been doing during this series I have been using the splitters or mergers one or the other and I've been putting them kind of right on the edge of the walls to make it that way I can kind of put holes in the walls wherever I want um, it's the closest thing I can get to having it without some sort of mod. But anyway, what we're going to do is place down some conveyor belts and we're going to have them come kind of under here. So I'm just going to do them straight just like that. And I'll just jump down here. So we'll put them right there. And I'll put the other one over here. Like so. 
All right, and then I'm gonna delete these floors as well here. All right, yeah, and that way we're working like right underneath of here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this and we're gonna put it right under here. Now, obviously with the dirt here, as you can see, I can't really do anything. So I'm gonna use no clipping. That way I can actually put the, uh, the thing where I want. Now, before I add the conveyor lifts into the main tower part here, I want to show you a little bit of a trick that I've learned recently from Total Eclipse. And that is using the conveyor lifts, you normally can only do something like this. So you can only go so far. That's about as tall as you can go with that. No further, that's pretty much it. But if we come up here to the top and we place down a foundation, uh, let's do a one meter foundation. Doesn't really matter which one you do. You can do a four if you want. And then we place a floor hole in here like so. Right, okay. And then we go back down to the bottom and then now that we're down here at the bottom, all we have to do is just place our conveyor belt pretty much exactly where our hoe is at the top, like that. And then we just can connect straight up to it, like that. Now, I find that to be pretty cool. It allows us to stretch out the conveyor lift a lot further than what it would normally do. Now, you can't go from the top down. That it won't allow. But you can, if you're down here on the bottom, all you have to do is just click on it, and look, it just goes right into it. That's pretty sweet. All right, now with our conveyor lifts, posted exactly where I want them. All I have to do now is just finish up running our conveyor belts. So we will run them over to, and let's see, right there looks good. And then in, and then over here, this one should work just fine. And I just have to post it right to there. Yeah, there we go. All right, perfect. Now we have both the plastic and the rubber going up the first part of our tower. All right, so I've got our conveyor belts running up the tower now, and I've even got them going underneath of the catwalk over here to our other tower, where they will then proceed to go back down and over to our electronics factory over there, which you can see I've kind of already started a foundation for over here. And yeah, so this is looking pretty good. What I might end up doing is maybe taking some small pillars, uh, some of the frames, and then kind of running them across through here to kind of give it a little bit more, um, framework I should say a little bit more sturdiness or makes at least make it look like that it's not like it's gonna fall apart on us or anything all right so the next object is going to be running it down and then over through here but we need to work on the actual factory down here first and figure out where all of our machines and stuff are gonna be going all right so I took a few minutes to kind of figure out how we're gonna do the belts here and it's a little bit complicated but I got it to work so we're gonna have the crystals coming up on two sides here and here since we're making those down there so those will come up on their own belt to run each of these and then the AI limiters since we only need two of those for like each machine we're gonna run those on just one single line right up the middle so they will come up through here hit the splitter this splitter right here will send it under and up to each machine on each side and then like I said the porous crystals will have their own now we're going to need rubber as well, and since the rubber is coming up through here, I'm thinking we'll bring that down from above. So we'll have one on each side here, right in the middle of each machine. Bring that down. That will go down and into that splitter, which splits it into each machine. And I ran some catwalks up through here on each, well, I'm going to do it on each side. And that way we can kind of, uh, let me just jump over here. There we go. All right, so we, we can kind of come in here and we'll have all of this down in here we can see all of our lines and stuff moving well we won't be able to see the rubber but that's fine I don't want to see the rubber I would like to see the crystals and the AI limiters moving through here though yeah so that's kind of how this is gonna work and uh, I, I think I did a pretty good job of solving how the conveyor belts will work here next I just have to go ahead and actually finish building all of this out all right so here you can see if things are finally coming together uh, we are getting most of the lines and stuff put in here Kind of completed a lot of these here for the manufacturers yeah i'm liking this but now the next part is going to be getting the materials that we need up here so i'm making quartz all the way down here at the very bottom so let's head down here all right, and as you can see all of the uh looks like cupcakes from here doesn't it kind of looks delicious 
Don't eat the quartz though. Anyway, uh, so we have all the quartz kind of coming in here and it's being made into the quartz crystals. And I then went ahead and I put a conveyor lift going down so it, the output of the crystals, as you can see here, is going down underneath of the floor here into these mergers, which then go into each line. Same thing for the other side here. And then it's going to go up to this next layer right here, right there. And then from this point, it goes up to those. So I just have to finish this line right here. So we'll connect one down here. And then we'll run down here. And I don't know if this will be long enough. News flash, it wasn't long enough. And I had to run another line coming down through here all the way down to this point. Take out a piece of the floor, put it in there. But there we go. Now that should connect. And we should see the quartz coming through here. Yep, there we go. Look at them go. Heading up that way. Heading to their new home and the machines above. I just got to do the same thing over here on this side now. All right, now we got the quartz coming up. So the next part is going to be the AI limiters. So I got to figure out how we're going to do that. The AI limiters, if I believe I have them set to being made down here. No, that's circuit boards. Yes. All right. So these first four machines on this floor are going to be making the AI limiters, which means I'm not sure exactly where we're going to send our circuit boards when those get made. But uh, eh, it's fine. We'll figure this out as we go. So as I take a look at how I have the machines currently, this is actually going to work out for the better and is uh, pretty much didn't really plan it this way. But yeah, it's, it's totally going to work out. So what we're going to do is we're going to take and put a merger right here in the middle between these two machines and right here in the middle between these two machines like so. And then if we run that up through there like this, we'll, we'll just say these things right here. And we'll run that to that like so. By doing that, we open up down here on these sets so we could do something kind of like this uh, by running the lines up and up this way on each side then we can run it up here because this is going to go to we're going to need these circuit boards for a computer manufacturing process so yeah this is actually totally going to work um, didn't really plan it this way but yeah this will work all right so next we go down here and we just finish these off down here all right, so now we have all the parts that we need coming down through here except for the rubber. So that's going to be coming along the top down through here. So we'll probably need to work on that next. For our rubber and our plastic, I decided to go with a stackable solution here. Uh, because once I get down to the point where I have to send the rubber to both sides, if I have them next to each other, then I'm going to have the plastic in the way of one of those sides. So the stackable method seems to be the best option here. So what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to run the rubber down through here for now. Also, another thing that came out pretty cool and completely unplanned was the way that I had this coming off of the building over there. And the way I measured all this was uh, right at the same exact height that this level of this platform here in our building is. So didn't really plan that. I just was kind of lining it up with the bottom thing down here instead. And this ended up being the exact same height. So that worked out quite well. All right, so my conveyor belts for this section didn't really come out the way I had intended. So what I'm going to do is just kind of delete these real quick here. And then we'll replace them. And right there. Actually, I could probably move those in a little bit. Yeah. All right, and then I'll just make sure that I get it to the exact height that I need here. Uh, that looks right. Man, I hope it is. And then I should just be able to put a splitter like right on that. Probably maybe if I go over here. Let's fly over the top of this. Can I get this in here? No. Uh, I. It should be like right there. Yeah. All right. I'm going to try that. See if that works out good. Oh, I worked out great. All right. Sweet. Now we have the rubber going down there. That's the final ingredient we need to go into this side of the machines. Now for the other side. All right. And then that goes into there. And voila, perfect. I'll just delete that because I'm gonna have to run this line down through here. So the plastic and then the plastic, uh, I've got to run that down there to make the circuit boards as well. 
All right, so all the lines are now ran. We got the components getting ready to go into the machines. All we gotta do is just turn them on. And I've even fancied some things up a little bit. We did some uh, colorization here in the room. Turn these into a purple for quartz, even though they're not making quartz, they're making oscillators, but still. Uh, yeah, I kind of made these pillars and stuff in here as well, kind of going up. Pay no attention to that wire running back there. That's going to be disappearing soon. Uh, did some beams going across here, which I then connected the cables to the back of this to hide them. Because I think that looks kind of good. And I even put some lights back here to give it just a little bit of light as well. Just right over top of each of our manufacturing machines here. And we got some lights on the ceiling right down the middle to accentuate our nice conveyor belts down here and we even have plenty of room in here so if uh if i need more oscillators or we need to make some more stuff in here we certainly can we definitely have room for that uh, i even have a little bit more space we can kind of uh if we need to expand this out more this way we certainly can do that too all right so let's go ahead and turn on the machines all right, so one thing I've never messed around with before is these power switches. This is my first time using one of these. So what I did was I ran a circuit that comes in behind this pillar right here and comes down, connects into this so you can't see the wire anywhere. And then this one goes to another circuit that runs back up behind the pillar and it runs to all of the machines. So all I have to do is just click on this, turn the power on, and now everything is running for about another 220 megawatts being used but we're now making some new oscillators yeah all right so i had planned on maybe trying to do the computer machines as well and start the manufacturing for that but um yeah this one has taken me a little too long to get all this built and i think i need to maybe save that for another episode i think this came out well enough as it stands so we'll leave this as a standalone episode, do another episode where we work on the computers. You should see that in a few days. And uh, that's going to do it from our build here. So let me know what you guys think, what you guys would have done differently. I love to hear all your thoughts and stuff on that. may not take them and use them, but I'd love to hear them nonetheless. <laughs> oh. All right, so guys, I uh, hope you have a great rest of the day. Thank you for all your support on my videos. Very much appreciate it. If uh, you're not already a subscriber, hit that button down below. Definitely helps the channel, and also so does your thumbs up and your comments. In the meantime, I'm going to head out of here. Wherever you guys are in the world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.